Hi, my name is Kim Glass, and you're watching Young, Bold, and Regal. Oh, man. Um, right now, I think coming out of the pandemic, <laughs> amazing enough is the fact you came out the pandemic, so I'm giving myself the, the you know, three raised roofs for that one. Um, and then on top of that, I'm still just building my fitness business, training different clients that I normally train, working on some young, tall girl self-empowerment. Um, It'll come out later. I don't want to talk too much about it, but um, I'm working on that and something else for young, tall girls as well. Just because there's a there's a demographic. Um, I think even with that Netflix sh a movie that or show that came out, that just shows that people don't have like that much empathy towards what people go through as being a tall girl. People look at it as like this plus, and I look at it as a plus. But a lot of young girls don't have that, and I really want to help young, empower them and grow them into strong powerful women and just get that posture right just let them own themselves um, develop a community that tends to that will kind of support one another and they have like these pen pals or whoever it is so that'll be coming later on um, and that's really what I'm up to right now yeah. um, so wow athletic career for me being a personal trainer um, most people don't understand like why I also retired. I retired from indoor volleyball a little bit early, but I did it because I was no longer playing for uh, indoor volleyball um, for USA. And it, I had a herniated disc in my back, L4, L5, S1, all this jazz, you know. And then at one point in my life, I was rehabbing by myself. I didn't have anyone else. I went on bodybuilding.com. I did all these other things, and. Um, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I got myself back to go play overseas two more years and like kill it and be in the best shape of my life. So when I retired from volleyball, I said to myself, I want people to be able to stop doing what they want to do when they want to do it, not because of what's going on. I want to inform them about things that they don't know about to make their living and their movement and their viability healthier, longer, and better. And so that's why I became a personal trainer, um, just to be able to do things that I wish I knew give that to other people to spread that to other people and then um yeah i just use that mentality even in my coaching i'm not like this person that every time i do something i do a casting or something they want me to do something for whatever it is I'm like are you a yeller do you do this it is i'm like no i coach people i use me being a player and me having the knowledge and the understanding of being a teammate of being a leader and understanding that there's a psychology to everyone and everyone's different so to me you can't coach everyone the same. I'm not gonna sit there and yell at everyone. Not everybody learns that way. I don't learn that way. You yell at me, I'm gonna be like, what I pay you for? Get the fuck out of my face. For real, that is what it is. So to me, it's like, I think that I use my knowledge and my psychology of understanding my teammates and people and how to motivate people in my business as well for my fitness business. Oh, I'm looking to see forward to see how everyone competes now that I'm looking to see the mental strength. Um, of not having that energy from the crowd, of not having, you know, I'm looking to see USA win, number one. Okay, that's just how I, that's how I roll. But number two, I'm looking to see who comes out and says, I don't have that, that backing from all the energy from all the, the, the fans. I, I, I don't get fueled by that. Where does my energy rush come from? How, long, how strong is my mentality from it? I think that's really important for everyone to think about and I, to look at and to see who comes and thrives off of that, right? So I'm really excited to see everyone compete. I don't care where you're from, but obviously I want to see USA win because that's how I do it. <laughs> oh, you can find me on Instagram, ITS Kim Glass. That's at It's Kim Glass. Yep. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the best thing about being a black and black woman is the fact that like we set the trends and everybody copies our style <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it is what it is.